Right, if we have a look then, all of these things make up who we are and all of them are things that we study in sociology. So <clears throat> the first unit looks at socialisation and identity and it's about the choices that we make. So Ross made a choice to get involved with music. <coughs> Sorry, I keep using my voice today. Um, it's the values and we talked about being an entrepreneur, our beliefs, appearance, so what we actually look like and the obvious things such as our ethnicity, our religion, what our interests are and our friends and our work hobbies and they tend to create who we are. So I spend a lot of time with X race horses so that would go into part of my identity, the rehabilitation of them. So what we then have is loads of different things that you can see sociology covers. So we look at different structures globalisation, theories, sexuality, education, knowledge, violence, religion, it looks at literally everything. And sometimes people ask me what the difference is between psychology and sociology. Psychology is looking at the I, so it's looking at me, it's looking at my brain, my thinking. Sociology is looking at the we, so it's looking at a broader society and how the different things within society influence us. So one example could be the media, which I think through social media has had a massive influence on people. So sociology then can be defined as the study of society and it is the web of human interactions and relationships. Now, by relationships, we don't necessarily mean people that you live with. It could be with a coach, with a teacher. It could be just with somebody that you happen to see every day in the street and you wave to and you don't even know their name. That is a type of relationship. 